Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. In today's video, I just wanted to share where I purchase all of my candle business supplies. So I made a list of all the things that I could think of that I personally use for my candle business and I just wanna let you know where I choose to purchase my materials from. Hi, it's me, just interrupting this video real fast just to let you know that I do offer a handmade business planner for any business owner that is looking to get organized. I have a digital planner template that you're able to use to help with organization, planning, and structure within your weekly routine. I know how overwhelming it can be, and this has really, really helped me. So if you're looking for something like this, go ahead and click on the first link in the description box below. So let's first start out with the supplies and the materials that I use to actually make my products. So these are my candles in both sizes as well as my wax melts. So for my wax, I do use Soy 10, which is also called AccuSoy number 10. And thankfully you can actually get it at a few different candle suppliers now. When I first got started into candle making and was using this wax, I think there was only one or two suppliers that had actually carried Soy 10. So I was very happy when they actually started expanding, um, especially towards the East Coast, because I know that there's a lot of people that want to get it in the East Coast. Um, I've purchased it from both California Candle Supply, as well as directly from the manufacturer, which is called AccuBlend. And I found out that they are about 20 minutes away from where we live, which was mind blowing when I first found that out. Um, but you have to order very large quantities. I think about a pallet at a time. Uh, last time we purchased, I think it was like a few thousand dollars. So it's a lot of wax at once. Um, but that is where we get the wax in terms of the container wax. Um, I also choose to blend in a little bit of beeswax into my candles. If you're curious about why I add beeswax to my soy candles, I will leave a link above to the video on why I do that. Um, it's just to work properly and burn well with the wicks and the jars that I choose to use. Um, and that is also purchased from California Candle Supply as well. Um, and then the tart wax for the wax melts is called TW30. And I believe this is only sold at California Candle Supply. I think they make it in-house. Um, and again, the reason why I get so many things from them is because they are my closest supplier. They're kind of like my home California supplier that is the closest to us. And I've been going to them since the very beginning. First supplies I ever got was from them. Um, so that is where I get my waxes and the waxes that I use for my products. And then when it comes to fragrance oil, um, I have kind of my top three suppliers that I use for fragrance oil. So that would be uh, Candle Science is number one. Uh, the Flaming Candle and California Candle Supply. And then I also get some fragrances from Candle Cocoon. Um, I've gotten some fragrances from 1617. I think I have one fragrance oil from Aztec. And I'm pretty sure that's about it. Um, those have been kind of my core suppliers for fragrance oil. And I know I really need to branch out. I've heard really good things about so many other suppliers that I haven't even tried before. Um, Midwest Fragrance Oil Company, that is definitely one that I really wanna try um, among a bunch of others that I've heard pop up here and there. Um, but those are the main places that I get my fragrance oil from. And then when it comes to wicks, I primarily use the CDN wick series. And for my products, I use the CDN twos. And I get those from both 1617 as well as West Coast Candle Supply. And then for the labels on the candles, these are the labels that are on the front of the candles, as well as the warning labels at the bottom of the candles, I get from online labels. And I've been getting labels from them, again, since the very beginning of the business. Now I wanna get into supplies that we use to actually make the candles. So the digiboils that you see behind me, uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos over the years, you know that I transitioned from the double boiler method to Presto Pots. Then I tried a certain kind of melter that I got directly from Alibaba, but I ended up not really liking it. And then I tried the Digi Boils, and so far, unless something else comes out that's much better, these have been the best melters that we've used so far. And if you're wondering what they're sitting on, 
it is cinder blocks. And the reason why they are lifted up onto cinder blocks is so we're actually able to put the pitcher behind them. So right here, you can see that there is a pitcher right underneath it and it puts it at a really good height. And that's just so we don't have to have, you know, two different tables. It makes it so much easier to have it on there. Um, but the digi boils along with the black jacket that's over it, that's just to help keep the heat in. And um, I chose to turn those inside out because on the other side it says like Brewzilla or something. It has like a logo on it. So I just chose to close it because it's actually, I think, for um, brewing beer. I believe that's what it's for. Um, but I believe I got these Digiboils from kegfactory.com. I'll have to double check that. But if you type in Digiboil onto Google, there's a few different um, companies online that will sell it. And um, so I'll try to remember where I purchased ours from. And then the pitchers themselves, the pitcher that I just showed you, that is, I believe, a four pound pitcher. And I get all of ours from California Candle Supply. The scales that we use in order to put um, the pitcher on it and then pour the wax in there to measure out how much wax is going in there, those are also from Amazon as well. And then um, the thermometers that we've gotten have been all from Amazon. Now, we primarily just use the laser thermometer for everything now, but if you're just getting started with a candle business, I don't recommend getting started with a laser thermometer until you are very, very comfortable understanding that laser thermometer and understanding temperatures and just you're, you have to be very comfortable with candle making in general prior to having that just be your sole uh, temperature gauge just because it's not always accurate. So you have to learn kind of what your device is showing. So I recommend a probed thermometer, but also a laser thermometer because if you are doing testing, you also need to test the outside temperature of your jars that you're testing. And that's gonna be something that you're gonna need the laser thermometer for. So both of those is something that you can get on Amazon. And then the little measuring cups. I use little silicone measuring cups for uh, measuring out fragrance oil. And that's just in place of using like little Dixie cups or things that you just toss or even, you know, like little glass cups or something. Um, it's made it really easy and we just wipe them out when we're done. And then we also have our piston funnels. And this is just making it so much easier to actually pour with accuracy without spilling and allowing us to pour directly over the candles without having to worry about, you know, like the pouring and, you know, that instability. Um, it makes it so much easier to pour. And that's also from Amazon as well. And then moving on to office supplies. So pretty much everything that we purchase that's for packing materials is um, from Uline, but there's also a couple things from Amazon as well. So for our boxes that we use, so all of our shipping boxes, the regular boxes that we use that are just kind of the um, white um, six by six by four inch boxes, as well as the Indestructo mailers and all that kind of stuff. Um, that is from Uline, but our poly bags and our poly mailers, those are from Amazon. So I choose to get those from Amazon. Um, they have some fun patterns sometimes in different colors, and sometimes I'll try to change it up whenever I do a different order, um, but those can be really fun. And then any of our packing paper, so like the honeycomb paper that you've seen before in videos, that's all from Amazon. Um, but the packing peanuts, the crinkle cup paper, um, all of that stuff is from Uline, as well as the gift boxes that we use to package up the candles in. So in a previous video that I just did showing you how to package up um, one of our gift boxes, those were using the gift boxes. It's it's considered a gift box on Uline, as well as the little sample bags. And I have this right next to me, I can show you. So these are called, I think they're called like glassine bags or something like that. They're these bags right here, and these are from Uline. And we just use those to put in a little wax melt sample with a sticker and um, be able to include that in orders as a free sample. And then packing tape. So packing tape, just, 
packing tape like this. We prefer this style of tape dispenser than the one with the handle. Um, it just seems to work better for the size boxes that we're typically packaging up. I could see for maybe like our wholesale size boxes, that would be easier because you're, you know, pulling over. But when you're just needing to, you know, pull it tight over a box, it's much easier to do it with this device than the one with the handheld. And then any kind of printer paper or card stock or anything like that, I'll just order on Amazon. I recently ordered again the four sheets of card stock that I use to print off my candle care cards on. Um, also, if you don't know, I do sell the design for the candle care cards on my Etsy shop. And I always have that link down below in case you wanna check out my digital products that I have for candle business owners. Um, but I order the actual cardstock paper on Amazon. Um, and it's just a bundle of, I think like 250 cards that you get. Um, and I'm able to just use my regular printer to do it. And then um, last thing I'll, I'll mention actually is my printing devices. Um, so for printing out labels and just anything on paper, my cards, my, you know, my candle care cards, I use a printer that I will have popped up right here. <laughs> I will also have it linked. Um, and I think I can read it. It's an HP Color LaserJet Pro. Um, MFP M479 FDW. So this printer um, had a lot of hype like three-ish years ago or something like that, that it was really, really good. I'm not saying it's not good. It has done a really good job, but I wouldn't say that this is like, okay, if you wanna be a candle business owner and print out your own labels, like this is the printer to get. There are definitely other printers specifically really good for printing out labels at home that would be better than this printer. Um, but overall, this printer has been really, really good. It's very expensive. So that's why I'm preface, prefacing it with that because it's not necessary for you to go out and spend, you know, I think this printer is now over $500. I can't remember. It's, it's a very expensive printer. Um, but again, it's worked really well so far and we've done a lot of printing on it. Um, it's a laser printer, so when we order our labels from online labels, we get the weatherproof laser type of the paper, which I should have added when I was talking about that, but we get the weatherproof labels for laser printers. And then the last thing is gonna be the shipping label printer, which is our Dymo. So it's a Dymo Label Writer 4XL, and this prints off specifically the four by six inch size labels, which is perfect for shipping labels. And this device is amazing. When it's working like properly, which is I would say 95% of the time, 5% of the time sometimes it jams or it has some issues and you kind of have to reset it and adjust it a little bit, but the majority of the time it works really, really well and it saves me, I don't know how much that, that has saved me from having to print out paper, cut it out, tape it onto the box. I couldn't even imagine having to do that. Um, so love the Dymo, very good investment. If you are getting started with your business and you're getting traction and starting to get sales more consistently, um, it's very, very helpful. And then the last thing I forgot to mention only because I see it hanging up right there is the respirator. Um, so I personally choose to wear a respirator when I make candles. Um, and especially now that I'm pregnant, I have to make sure that when I am, you know, in here at all making candles, which I haven't in a little while. And yes, you guys guessed it. That is a very, very, very uh, main reason why Chris is making the candles right now. Uh, first trimester was a little rough with all the scents. I could not. Um, so he has been a good help. And luckily, he had a lot of training <laughs> during the fall season when we were really busy. So um, it was a good like three months basically of training of, of him, you know, learning the candles with me and everything. So it really worked out. Um, but the respirator is something that I personally choose to wear when I make candles. And you can get both the regular mask itself as well as the filters on Amazon. And um, that is just, it, it's a world of difference. If you're in a small space, you don't wanna be breathing that in. If you feel heavy in your chest, um, by being surrounded by so much fragrance at once, 
it really makes a world of difference. I can't smell anything when I wear it. I don't feel heavy in my chest. I don't feel like I'm breathing it in. It's so much nicer. Um, and again, if you're wondering why I wear a respirator other than what I just mentioned, because some people are still like, but why? Um, I have a whole video talking about why I choose to wear a respirator. Um, but with that, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I'm trying to look around to see anything else that I use for my candle business that I can let you know where I purchase from. Um, the only other thing that I will definitely always add on there is the devices that I use to, um, as like my wick centering devices, like the wick holders and stuff like that. Um, I'll have that Etsy shop link down below as well. More than likely, I'm going to link everything in a pinned comment because my description gets a little overwhelming sometimes with you know, different links and all that kind of stuff because I just have so much to share with you. Um, but with that, I think I'm gonna end today's video right here. If you enjoyed hearing about where I purchase all of my candle business supplies, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.